Hey everyone, welcome back to Riff of the Week. This week we're doing Joe Walsh's uh, Life's Been Good. It's the intro riff. Um, so let's go through it. There's there's one basic phrase that's repeated four times and it's changed every time a little bit. So let's go through the first version of that phrase, which sounds like this all together. <laughs> So that little thing gets played four times, but each time a little bit different. So the first time it's like this, let's, let's go through it note by note. So second fret A, you're going to pick that once. And um, what I do is like a kind of a double bend. So I'll pick it and then I'll bend up and down and then up and down again. And then you pull that note off. So that sounds like this. Played fast, it's kind of... Something like that. And then after that, you're going to pick that second fret again and then slide up to the four. So that's on the A string, second fret, slide up to the four. And then you'll go up here to the second fret of the G and play that note. A little short one. So all together. And then the next part, uh, open A, and then do that same slide from 2 to 4 on A. And then this time you'll hit the 2nd fret of D. So. so then those other two notes are the 3rd fret of A. You pick that and bend it up. And then uh, as you bend it up, when you get to the top of that bend, you pick the second fret of G right here. So all together. And then that little part, I'm just barring uh, the D and G strings on the second fret. And then you just hit that twice. And to cut that note short, I'm using this kind of like scrunching technique here um, where when I want to play that note, I scrunch down and then when I want the note to cut off, I'll let go a little bit. I don't take my finger off of the string, but I just disengage the string from the fret. So you get that like sh sharp cut off kind of sound there. Um, so. Back to the phrase. The second phrase starts out the same. Except this last note is different. You still play that second fret on G, but you'll play the open D string with it to make that power chord. And that little thing is just a, a D chord, so that's 3rd fret B, 2nd fret G, and open D string. So it's two palm muted clicks, I go down and then up, so that looks like... And then you play the open chord. And then you do that double click again, but then you'll go to the... the uh, open A power chord, so that's open A string and 2nd fret of D. Okay, so then moving into the 3rd phrase of the intro. That one... He does this little thing, so he'll bend up, 1, 2, and then he does that double bend to, to release. And then you finish off that phrase just the same. That double bar right there. And the fourth phrase finally. It's just the same right there. So the fourth and the second phrases are pretty much identical. So 
So, all together you should have this. If you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any song suggestions that you'd like me to make a riff of the week for, uh, leave those in the comments too. And I'll see you next week.